the most restrictive abortion bill in the whole country is sitting on the governor's desk. And new polling shows the majority of Oklahomans do not support it. News Force Brent Skarkey is at the Capitol tonight. Brent. Well, new numbers show that anti-abortion legislation, the support for it might not be as strong as some lawmakers think. This all happening as a basic ban on all abortions in Oklahoma could take effect this week. When I told my daughter, she thanked me for not killing her. That's literally what she said. That wasn't a political statement for her. That's just how she felt. Limiting access will, to abortion will not stop it, but it'll only um, stop safe access to them. Heartfelt debate on the House floor last week as lawmakers passed House Bill 4327. It would allow anyone to sue physicians who perform, aid, or abet in abortions after conception. The governor has said he will sign any anti-abortion legislation that hits his desk. And with its emergency clause, it would take effect immediately. I represent all 4 million Oklahomans. They overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly do not support abortions in the state of Oklahoma. But new polling data does not completely support that claim. A poll taken by Amber Integrated, published by The Oklahoman, shows that of the 500 registered Oklahoma voters ask only 31% would support a total ban on abortion. 55% of those surveyed did not want a total ban. New polling by Cole Hargrave Snodgrass and Associates of Oklahoma City shows of voters polled in May, 41% said they always or usually vote for the pro-life candidate in a race. That's down from 47% in an October survey by the same firm. I don't make my decisions based on polling. My job as an elected official is to protect individual rights. You know, that polling doesn't surprise me. They're not in favor of such a draconian anti-abortion law. Representative Mickey Dollins making national headlines for his comments during the bill's debate last week. A bill that I'm considering next year that would mandate that each male when they reach puberty get a mandatory vasectomy that's only reversible when they reach the point of financial and emotional stability. This tongue-in-cheek proposal has really brought to light a lot of hypocrisy, especially from those who feel like it's okay to regulate a female's reproductive system. But Republicans say it's all about saving lives. They think somehow is, you know, uh, exposing inconsistencies with us, but no, uh, we believe that our responsibility and job is to protect the life of the innocent unborn child. Once again, House Bill 4327 sitting on the governor's desk. He could sign it as early as tomorrow, and it would take effect immediately thanks to that emergency clause. We'll keep you posted. We're at the Capitol. Brent Skarkey, Oklahoma's News 4.